All right. Welcome to meditation. Wherever you are tonight, I hope you're in a spot in your home where you are pulled away from just whatever distractions that there are. As the rain is lightly falling outside here in Bryan College Station, just darkness is coming. Or whenever it is that you're doing this, this recording, I want you just to feel the sense of everything becoming very small around you. And just imagine how quiet the world gets when the rain gently begins to fall. And as when the sun goes down and darkness begins to come, it's like this hush just kind of falls all over the world. And I want you to begin to get that same sensation of that quiet and that hush coming into your space where you are as well. So as you get comfortable where you're seated, just kind of ground down into those sit bones so that you feel like you're grounded. Allow your shoulders just to relax. Just sit up as tall as you comfortably can so your neck can grow long. And then gently allow your eyes to close and start to find your rhythm of breath. There's not a right or a wrong breath when you come to meditation. It needs to be a rhythm that gives you comfort and a little bit of solace and ease in your physical being. So don't worry about how long the breath is, just let it start to flow. And the more still you become in your body, the deeper the breath will come. It will ease you into this sense of that hush falling over your body the same way you feel when that light rain just begins to fall or when the darkness starts to creep in and the world grows quiet. And so our word for today is harmony. And again, as I, I thought about these words for these 30 days, this month of January, the words just came and they came in this sequence and this flow. And I didn't really know when the words were coming, what I wanted to share each time it was that word's day. But I went back to the words of Mahatma Gandhi when I was thinking about this idea of harmony. We talk a lot about harmony in our yoga practice and harmony of mind and body and spirit and how important it is. But sometimes we do that and we give that message in the midst of busyness, in the midst of flowing and moving our bodies. And so I want us tonight, or in this moment where we are, to think about harmony in the quiet pauses. And what Gandhi says, and he, there's no better example of someone who lived in the quiet pauses of life than him. He said, happiness is when what you think and what you say and what you do are in harmony. And as I read those words, I thought, those are the things that are in our control. You know, we show up on our yoga mat and we want mind and body and, and, and spirit harmony. But sometimes we feel like there's parts that, that are not in our control and we're trying to bring things back together and we have to work at it. But this idea, of what we think, what we say, and what we do, that is completely in our control. And so what I'd like us to do is I want us to have a visual, a physical representation of harmony as we sit together tonight. So if you'd feel comfortable, I encourage you, bring your hands together, press your palms, palms, thumbs, index fingers, all the fingers, press them the right to the left. And then just allow your thumbs to come toward your heart center and just let the hands rest right there. In yoga, we use a lot of hand gestures and this is your Anjali Mudra. We call it your Namaste or your prayer hands, but it is truly this gesture of uniting the right and the left side of you, the logical and the creative, the soft and the hard, the dark and the light. And what I want us to do is we think about these words of Gandhi, I want you to feel the way the physical connection is between these two hands. And even once I grow quiet and we are just being together, 
allow the physical sensation of those two hands touching to be your reminder of what harmony feels like. We often do this and we take it for granted. We don't really think a lot about what it represents, but it is the harmony of our two sides of us. So as you sit, pressing those hands together, continuing, continuing to let the breath just flow, listen to his words again. Happiness is when what you think and what you say and what you do are in harmony. And so what I'd like us to do before we grow quiet and we just sit in our space, I don't want this to be about guilt or disappointment in ourselves or one more thing on the list of things that we need to fix or change, but rather in this moment, Let's start. It doesn't matter in the moments that have already passed. In this moment, what we think, what we say, and what we do, the same in harmony. And so what we're doing is we're sitting in stillness. We're sitting in stillness, trying to find ease in our physical posture, so we can grow aware of whatever messages that there are for us. And then as we're sitting, we're thinking, our mind's gonna try to take us places, but we're thinking about this present moment, about the harmony, about the being, about the awareness. And we're not allowing the mind to distract us from that, it's gonna try. It doesn't mean we fail if it tries, we just come right back here so that our physical doing and our thinking are the same. And then the saying, he says, what we say must also be in harmony. And so although you're not speaking audibly right now, when the mind wanders, you are speaking to yourself and you have two choices grace and patience to bring yourself back or frustration about where the mind's trying to take you. So let the messages from you, what you're speaking to yourself, be messages of grace and acceptance and patience. And as those hands continue just to press together, at any point you need to bring them down and rest them, you do that, but feel even when they up, come apart, that sensation of how it felt to press them together. And so now together, let's just be both individually and collectively sitting in harmony, being in harmony. Allow your hands to part and let them rest either on your legs or on that tabletop where you are and continue to be right here in this moment.
Just allow your focus to come back right here in this space where we are. And as those hands are resting, notice how they feel. It's like you can still almost feel the tingle of the hands that we're pressing together. And as you continue to sit, just listen to these final words. Our meditation practice does not ask us to show up and account for all the mistakes. It doesn't ask us to show up and make a list of the things that are wrong with us or the things that we need to fix. It asks us to come to this moment, this present moment. And what we do here informs the next. So don't let yourself be a victim to your past stories or your failures or your mistakes or the times when maybe what you said and you did and you acted were not in harmony. That's done. So from this present moment on, let's take these words of Mahatma Gandhi when he said, happiness, which we all want. Happiness is when you think, is when what you think and what you say and what you do are in harmony. Try that in the days to come. Pause before you speak, think before you act, and that includes what you say and how you act towards yourself. I wish you a night filled with harmonious and beautiful sleep and a day filled with just as much harmony tomorrow. Namaste.